Then we tracked a Gray Phoenix lieutenant to this factory. Move in and try for a live capture. There's a little OGXCOM soundtrack in this breaching noise right now. Bum, 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 bum. Asian damage likely. Last unit through the entrance activates Overwatch. All right, let's do it. This is really fun, the little different breaching stuff. Really like that. It varies things up, it's cool. Okay, I guess we want Blue Blood on Overwatch because he's the most accurate. Who do we want to go first? I want Talk right in with Cherub. And then... Terminal and Blue Blood. Go, go, go! Reaching in. I like the pacing how some missions are more... Some missions are like one encounter, some are two, some are three. It's nice. I really want to play this game like forever. I want like the roguelike replayability here. I reckon it, this game's got the, the bones for it. I won't really be able to tell until I try a second playthrough though. But right now, this is really fun. So I think we're gonna phalanx that fire. Okay, Torque's going in. So I think the pip is actual armor, and the yellow from before was cover armor. Yeah, yeah, it's just, just like that mod. Okay. So what I want to do going in here, apart from taking the easiest shots, is I want to deal with the person on my flank. Okay, so we want to take this person to the right. Good job. I like how Blue Blood in the breach is like just pulling his pistol out, it looks cool. Wait, that wasn't Blue Blood, that was Cherub, my bad. Lancer shots. Yep, just do standard shot. Oh my god, she's gonna go out the window! Yeah, tank of your butt. Good job, Cherub. Go, 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 go! That's the VIP. Subdue is able. You know it. That's the supplier. I'll keep an eye out. And this is a one encounter mission, so no reason to not just immediately pop that team up and move, I think. We want to get Legionnaire. No, I'm not sure. I don't think Torque can bind big heavy enemies like a Muton. So how are we going to deal with him? We really can't. We're flanked by both of them, so that's really bad. Terminal can't do anything about it. I think we just got to maybe see what Torque can do about it. Torque's got the dodge, yeah. So let Torque dodge. Okay. Yeah. So we want to go team up Torque. Tenga team up Torque. Talk is one of the next to go, though, so is it worth it? Yeah, I feel like. What if you put Blue Blood up first? Then Torque can still dodge, bunny quotes. You can shoot someone else who's about to go with Blue Blood. You and Terminal can kill the Sectoid before he strikes. That might be good. No, Terminal's gonna have to heal after this. Fuck, everyone's exposed to that fucking Muton. I think I gotta accept that Muton's gonna hit me no matter what. But... Wait a minute. I know who I am. I'm Cherub, and I can shield one of them. Sorry, I forgot what game I was playing for a second. So what we're gonna do is... Oh, I need line of sight to do that shit. I can, though, rather than attacking, I can... Team up. Team up, talk, move to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. Team up, talk. Yeah? You got it? I don't know if I got it. Flashbang these two. Tossing flashbang. Time for a little noise. <sighs> oh, don't forget you're going to provide half cover at the end of your turn too, Cherub. I forgot about that. Now, isn't that an interesting idea? Instead of kinetic striking, you could just move to here and cover. Talk then moves. Hmm, but you're just gonna break after you attack. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. 
Yeah, I think I think my first plan was good. I want to team up talk. Team up talk. And I want to move over and I want to provide a shield for blue blood. Now talk moves. Talk, let's see what you can do. Oh, talk and pull people too. I could have like pulled blue blood out of there. Too late now. Bound enemies cannot be targeted for risk of damaging talk. Yep, 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 yep. So can I not bind any of these targets? Because they're not like they're they're vipers and mutons. What about tongue pull? Okay, I can tongue anyone I want. Powerful. But can I bind them once I pull them? That is the question. I can move through you, so I can get behind you, but then I'm gonna get shot by someone else. Maybe I don't go for the Legionnaire. Maybe I let the Legionnaire shoot Blue Blood now, and I worry about someone else. Like, we move over to here. Don't really know what I'm doing if you talk right now. Tactical sliver over here. And Cherub has cover right now? I don't really see the effect on him, but yeah, the, the turn has ended, right? So he must. So now what? Now we just shoot, maybe. Oh yeah, that's that, they're in cover. Are they going to try to run, I wonder? Okay, so I'm just going to try to shoot the Paladin. Okay. Oh yeah, the old Overwatch. That old chestnut. As you do. I wonder if Kinetic Shield gets used even if... Like, I wonder Shield if you can charged. miss it. I wonder if Kinetic Shield always gets used when you get shot at, or if it only gets used if the attack would have hit you normally. Because I know parry gets consumed even if the attack would have missed, which is annoying. There was a mod for that to fix that. Ugh, snake on snake violence! Who we gunning down here, kids? Who we gunning down? We're putting some subduals on some adders, I think. Supposed to hit back. Run, Muton Civ. Mind meld? Yeah, mind meld. Okay. Maybe I can get extra damage by hitting them like classic mind meld. Okay, blue blood can come over. We can hit this adder. Oh, nice corner cover there, actually. A little bit closer to the muton, though. Yeah, come over here. Let's uh, finish the adder. I need a better angle. That one sees you. Yeah, I'm aware of that. You ain't going back to jail. Oh, he is running. Oh, there's an evac zone. I see now. <laughs> gotcha. Reverse VIP mission. We have to get the paladin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think between the two of you, you should be able to get him. Which means Cherub has to tank these two by himself. So... Yeah, okay. You're gonna gain a point of armor for free. So I'm gonna provide a shield to Blue Blood. Protected from all angles. I could've just probably got the Muton, but anyway. Oh no, I have to hit Blue Blood if I do it in that direction. But if I go here, I'm in the open. Well, I gave Blue Blood the shield, so fuck it. Maybe I did that for this reason, because I'm smart. So this replaces Subdue, so this should be non-lethal. Looks like it didn't even do anything to him, so good, he's still got the shield. Now it's Torx's turn. Do we want to tongue pull anyone? 
If I tongue pull over here, will it be easier to kill them? Assumedly. Pretty easy to kill them there as well, though. Probably just slide on over. Right at that. Oh, no. Talk is having a slippery time with her SMG on her first mission. Ah! Ah! Ah, good old demolition. See, they didn't fix that from XCOM 2. Oh, shit! Fuck! Get the sectoid! Get the sectoid! Help me! Uh, now I can't really hit him either. I gotta move to here to hit him. And then they're gonna hit me back. Damn, that gun suck. But these are the things we gotta do to protect and serve and all that shit. Almost. Nice crit. If Tork had hit. But Tork made a whoopsie. It's okay, Sector is just scared and dodging out. Ow, my fucking bones. Oh, I don't like that noise that they added to the Viper Pines. <laughs> Ouchie, my bones. I don't like that noise. <laughs> I was gonna say I'll save you, but um, it's alright, I'll still save you. See ya! I like the little knock knock animation, it's cute. Alright. Just beat his ass. Oh! Oh, Shame you didn't resist. my merge is just straight up kills you just like vanilla, of course. Nice. Actually, the only person who got wounded was Blue Blood. That was almost really clean. Good little takedown. From three captured enemies, there is a 60% chance to earn 20 intel. So I guess five captures is where it caps out. Right now, anyway. Very interesting. XCOM will never be in the business of telling people how to run their own societies. Well, there you go. Is that a I fact? Have more background on the insurgents behind the mayor's attack. Is it the Just aliens? Just after the war, City 31 reached out to nearby resistance networks to help keep the peace. The insurgents belonged to a cell in the Shrike network. That network provided security before 31PD existed. They left when the Global Council cleared aliens and hybrids for return to oh. society. Hmm, couldn't stomach protecting the people they fought in the war? Seems that way. Since 2037, they've kept to the outskirts and swapped war stories at their watering holes. Sounds like a dead end. Maybe. Something drove them to carry out this attack. Keep your eyes open. Oh, so the, the the main bad guys in this game are all the losers on Twitter replies and like comments on the videos for this game going like, Oh, gotta work with the aliens and protect them. <laughs> Warhammer 40k, heresy, Xenos. So I guess they're like in the game. That's good for you guys, you're in the game. <laughs> People who can't handle the aliens, I guess. See, it's funny for me because I, um... I've gone through the full fucking arc of... I played XCOM 1 and OG XCOM originally. Um, and you know back then, it's just like, yeah, I mean, kill all the aliens, yeah, genocide aliens, <laughs> all that shit. And I played, like, the Bureau. Uh, and I remember the, the, there was that one outsider in the Bureau, and we were like, I was role-playing Agent Carter, and there was a, you interrogate the outsider, and it was just... I forget why the fuck or how it happened, but it was just this bit we had where we were like, oh, Mr. President, this outsider... He's not evil after all. He just wants to be an American and immigrate and have apple pie. And then, you know, that was like the joke that was like, oh, maybe aliens can be good. Um, and then playing through like XCOM 2 and all the XCOMs for the last few years. And as I've got older and kind of like, uh, you know, uh, felt less inclined towards things like genocide. Uh, I, I started feeling bad for the aliens. Also because I killed them for like 4,000 hours of gameplay and... You can only punch a sectoid into a, a car so many times before you start to feel bad about it, honestly. Or it was my experience. So, this game really came at the perfect time for me, where it's kind of completing this arc for me, where 
Um, I, I was starting to feel bad about killing the aliens all the time because they're slave soldiers in XCOM 1 and 2. They're, um, pretty much all of them are, are enslaved in, like, physically or mentally in one way or another to the ethereals. And you just start to feel bad about the, the poor sectoids. I mean, Verge, I'm taking care of my baby boy Verge in this game now, you know, a few missions in. He was a little grey sectoid in the first game. Like, if I, if I won XCOM 1, I probably killed, like, a Verge. You know, I probably killed a lot of them. And it gets down to these issues of, like, uh, you know, we, we, we have fun playing games, but sometimes as I get older and I play games, I start to feel bad about murdering things in all these games that are about combat and war. You know, it's, it's crazy, I know, right? But, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I like this game that this game is about taking people alive where you can and working together with everyone. And everyone's people, man. Like, there's no, like, evil aliens or evil hybrids. Everyone's just kind of, like, doing their thing. I like it. I really like it. It's real nice. I like this game a lot. This is a really cool game so far. Today, the city council appointed Councillor Parada as deputy mayor until the upcoming election. Talk to me, Celio. Councillor Vorthu expressed his displeasure after the session. He opposed the bulk of Mayor Nightingale's policies. A new title won't change that. The deputy mayor responded. What'd they say? This is a trying time for us all. My goal is to keep the lights on until we elect a new mayor. No more, no less. More on this story as it develops. Keep me posted, this Celio. This is Celio Dash with Channel 37. Thank you. I don't know if Celio is actually is a sector. He might be a hybrid. He just got like that, that, that head, that bald head, look kind of sectory in his pick. I don't know. I don't know what. And this is this is. I need to go to sensitivity training. Like that's that's actually fucked up. Everyone's just looking at <laughs> Beagle Rush, who has been brought on as a liaison of Chimera Squad. <laughs> Just like walking up to Celio Dash like, Yeah, what are you anyway? Everyone's just like face palming like, Oh my god, like, Bigger Rush, you can't say that. Like, you can't just ask him what he is. Celio Dash is like a total professional. No, no, it, it's fine. I get this all the time in City 31. <laughs> like, I mean, canonically, if I'm here, then I must be here, right? Like, I, I've fought in the war, so what am I doing here? I, I guess I'm just like a liaison they brought in. I mean... If we are still XCOM, I guess it makes sense I'm still hanging around. I don't feel like I should be in charge. <laughs> I was a soldier, I'm not a policeman. Don't go America, don't make me <laughs> walk the streets, it'll end badly. You asked me to like stop breaking entries and, and like like police the community and I'm just gonna like there's gonna be like proxy mines around and like incendiary grenades and like Sky Rangers and exo suits and you do not want that. You you just do not want that. You need to separate that in your police force. You do not want your soldiers policing your cities after the war. So yeah, keep me, keep me, <laughs> keep me in the PD. I'm just watching. All right, we got our weapon mods now. Oh my god, there's so many projects. This is cool because it's kind of like bridging the gap between building buildings, research, and proving grounds all in one here. So there's like so much stuff. It looks, it makes it look like there's more stuff. Weapon optics, laser sights, oh cool, scope, scopes are good. Assault rifles, enhanced assault rifle, ah, oh, so we're doing one thing at a time, ah, so it's not going to be able to just rush one particular weapon. I use a lot of SMGs, but, mm hmm, haven't even used a shotgun yet. So maybe armor is better than I think, I should have gone for armor. Uh, it's alright, because I'm still only baby steps right now. Armor, I can get one armor for everyone. Rather than having to research all of these things individually. Looks like it costs Illyrium for these projects too, so we need to keep that Illyrium coming. I think then, uh, let's not waste any more time. I think we should go for Enhanced Armor next. Nice to see that even though there's a lot of familiar language and, and projects here, uh, we're not having to necessarily follow the same meta. Always good to see. Alright, Verge is back at him. Back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. Blue Blood, another level up for you. Let's see it. The first shot in each clip disorients the target. Yeah, Alright, what else you got? Blue Blood automatically activates Overwatch if the last action of their turn is spent moving. It includes using abilities that can provide movement, such as subdue or stabilize. Oh, now that's good. See, I wasn't interested until you said it, in it includes subdue. Because Blue Blood subdues a lot. It also means I can't turn it off. Is there ever a situation where I would like what if what if Blue Blood subdues? Is he gonna auto overwatch like the dealer in that last mission? I think it seems good though. I think that seems good. I don't really care about this. 
That seems lame. This seems good. The, su the subdue shot is fucking cool. Very, very cool. Alright, that said, who am I gonna train here? Um... I want Talk to go on more missions. Maybe it's a good time for Blue Blood to do some training, or... I can't... I need to level up Terminal and Cherub sometime, but I really don't want to be without them. Because they're so good. Maybe Verge. M maybe I level up Verge. My hero unit. It's me. I was in XCOM 2, now I'm, <laughs> now I'm in Chimera Squad as well, baby. <laughs> Just put a beard. <laughs> Just put a beard and a balding haircut on Verge. You will not be able to tell the difference. I too am not wearing shoes right now. Alright, what's up next, babes? Hidden faction target. Three days. We've got two situations we can go along with here. 31 PD raid. Stash house. Connected to our current investigation. 70 credit backup or... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh, it's intel. Um, econ. Go econ. Mercenaries surrounded about a fight. Yeah, because Chimera Squad's here, baby. Hand those oranges over. The city is shaken by the untimely loss of our mayor. Roger. But with everything this city has been through, I have to believe we'll come out of this stronger than ever. Let's not sugarcoat this, Roger. How can we feel safe when our duly elected officials are kidnapped and assassinated? You're absolutely right. This is a tragedy. We can't forget or forgive. But how do we move on? Tension can be felt on every street and in every home. Together, Glorgo, that's how we move <laughs> on. Throughout our city's history, we've faced many challenges and threats, but only together can we find peace. Let's hope you're right. Yeah, Glorgo. So this is plus five intel on the upgrade, huh? It's still pretty expensive. It's still smarter to just purchase new teams right now. Got a couple of missions here. I kind of like this new thing of just like day by day rather than scanning on the globe and waiting and going, oh, and like having a heart attack when it goes wah, 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 wah. I kind of like this whole like, this is very chill. Just like, all right, each day something might be happening. Tomorrow I can lure some unrest here, which will be good. So what do we got? As you know, our presence in City 31 is precarious. The City Council is divided on Reclamation's future. So we do the job we came here to do. Secure dangerous technology from those who seek to harm City 31. As Reclamation confirms intel on these bread and butter missions, we'll place them on the map. They can't argue with our mandate. Protecting the citizens of this city will help them understand our commitment. Our mandate. Unknown hostiles have grabbed a hostage and fled to this district. The hostage is vital to City 31's rebuilding effort. Okay. Or... Immediate attack on a local data analyst. They request our immediate assistance. Nah. 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 Whoever I pick, someone dies. That's so fucked up. I mean, at least this person's a prisoner. We don't know they're gonna die. It is a numbers game, isn't it? Isn't it, Mark? You know. I also need to stop unrest in this place anyway, and I need to... The free field team may be useful as well, so... If someone's gonna get their ass in trouble either way... We better help out over here. If we're lucky, we can reach an endangered VIP before hostile forces arrive. Our goal is to extract the VIP before hostiles can overwhelm the position. Get to the evac and get out. We got a weapon mod we can apply. Now that hair trigger from before. 10% chance that the shot will not cost an action for the active turn. That's gonna want to go on Blue Blood. Does an S come too, baby? I can put hair triggers on pistols. Fuck you. It's the same team as last time, then. Okay. One encounter. Vehicle breach? Are you kidding me right now? Are you serious? Take me there. Take me there. 